It was just six years after Kello TV signed on the air that the television operation outgrew its original location in the Hollywood Theater and moved downtown. On May 9, 1959, the station's new offices and studios at 13th and Phillips opened with much fanfare. The building still serves as the headquarters of Kelloland TV today, and although the building looks much the same on the outside, over the past 60 years, renovations inside have kept Kelloland TV on the cutting edge of television technology. Brittany Kay recently took a tour of the parts of the building you don't get to see on TV with Creative Services Director Paul Farmer. Thanks so much for joining me here today, Paul. You're welcome. So we're talking about how we are celebrating the 60th anniversary for the Kello building. What does that mean for Kello? Well, it means that, uh, you know, we've been around a long time. We've been v successful for a long time, and uh, we're just, uh, you know, very happy to be able to use this facility, this one building, for such a long time. It's a testament of, of how it was designed, I guess. So take us back to the beginning, 1959, when they were designing this building. I mean, back then, this was considered really cutting edge. Yeah, it was, because in 53, when we signed on the air, we basically moved into the Holiday Theater, or Hollywood Theater building, and, uh, you know, just retrofitted it for a TV studio. And here we had an opportunity in 59 to actually build a television station from the ground up. So to be able to design it for a TV and radio station, because we were ra with radio at the same time, so we had to have radio studios, TV studios, and all the support system for that. So why this location downtown? Well, I think uh, the, the founders, the owners wanted to stay downtown and this property became available and uh, so it was a, you know, a great location here right on kind of the edge of downtown and still be able to be downtown and have that property available. And also they, you know, they had to look at things like technical things like be able to line of sight to the to television tower, uh, the transmitting tower to be able to shoot that signal out there too. So. so what are some examples that really made the design cutting edge? Well, I think uh, if you've ever been in the building, the studio is in the center, and so all the offices are around it, which is, was designed that way for soundproofing. So you've got multiple walls and spaces and air spaces around the studio for soundproofing, which is a very, very good idea. Probably something that most people wouldn't think about, but that's what would happen. And of course, being able to have those uh, departments close to the studio and have those uh, extra areas around the studio. You know, where there was at one time a very large area for sets and props because that was a big thing back when the station started. So having that design uh, really suited for the television and radio business. And really taking us back to that, the beginning of this too, why did they decide that they needed to build this building and have this expansion? Well, Kello started as one television station. We expanded to, at that time, three stations. And so the, the the business was growing, Kelloland was growing, and you know we needed to design a television studio. We weren't just in a, a building that we had moved into, be able to design a television studio about what our operations were all about. And so that expansion and that growth of Kello uh, allowed us or really forced us into designing a television studio and building around that business, be able to serve our viewers better, be able to serve our clients better. So what did this expansion and growth really mean for Sioux Falls and our community? Well, I think Kello as a media outlet has been able to help Sioux Falls grow, especially in those early days. You know, our television signal would reach way out past Sioux Falls, way out into, you know, western, eastern South Dakota, into Minnesota and Iowa and Nebraska. And so those folks viewing at home could see the programming, but not only see the programming, but see the advertisements. And that was important for, for the growth of Sioux Falls as a regional hub, as a retail hub, for all of those viewers out there to see the commercials and find out what is in Sioux Falls to draw them here. And so that really did help the growth of Sioux Falls. Let's talk about some of the specific areas in this building and how it has changed over the years. Well, obviously, the business has changed a lot. You know, we're not shooting on film anymore, and so there was actually a dedicated area where people would edit film together. We don't have that anymore. And different parts of the, the building have been remodeled and updated and repurposed to suit the, the needs of the station. We don't have a radio operation in the building anymore, so obviously those areas have been repurposed into other areas. Um, 
even we had a community room in our lower level and the community room was a big space where we'd have our station meetings and plus other community groups would come in and use that space and now that's all like a with computer servers, so it's, it's changed quite a bit. And while you've been here and you've been working here at Kello, what is probably the biggest change that you've seen? I think that obviously the biggest change is in, in uh, computers, everything is electronic now. All the uh, television equipment is generally a computer or PC based. There's very few pieces of television gear that are like dedicated TV uh, equipment that you wouldn't see anywhere else. So that's really the biggest change I think that I've seen. Now everyone knows where Kello is located and what this building is, but a lot of what makes Kello what Kello is is what has happened inside the building and the different programs and the history that really goes with it. Can you share some of that with us? Sure, there's a lot of things of course. Many of the, the biggest historical or news moments you know, were broadcast from this studio and so um, a lot of things have happened over the years. I mean this studio used to host telethons, we used to have election coverage in here back when election coverage meant you actually had a very large board that had all the results on it that would be basically the set for your election coverage. I always say when history happens, it happens here. Some of the biggest moments were shared from this studio. So when this building officially opened, how big of a deal was this? Well, it was a huge deal for us, but it was also a huge deal for the area. And uh, we had best wishes sent from, even Vice President Nixon recorded a uh, video for us, uh, you know, wishing us well on our new facilities. And I'm delighted to have the opportunity to extend greetings and best wishes to station KELO on the occasion of the dedication of its new facilities in Sioux Falls. Uh, Senator Munt was the uh, MC or the keynote address here when we opened the studios. What do you see for the future for this building? Well, we're going to continue to be here because we love being in downtown Sioux Falls. Um, I, I believe you know we've taken very good care of this facility. It's in great shape and we'll be here for many years to come. All right, thank you so much, Paul, for joining me today.